And every generation, one has to see themselves as if they themselves left the land of Egypt. Why is that? Why do we have this obligation to imagine something that did not physically happen to us? The Chida, in the Sefer Rosh David, and Parshas Nasai, or Zion, says as follows. Hashem gave the Torah to the Yotze Mitzrayim. Anoichi Hashem Eloikecha Asher Hotzei Sicha Meretz Mitzrayim. Therefore, since the responsibility of Torah is to those who left Egypt, therefore, by imagining that you yourself left Egypt, you are accepting upon yourself the yoke of the Torah and the mitzvahs. You're priming yourself, you're designating yourself for Kabbalah Satayra. However, in the Lechida, in his Haggadah, Pe'echad offers a very powerful insight into why one is obligated to view themselves as if they left Egypt. For me personally, the night of Pesach, not only is it the great Yom Tif, but it's also the yard site of my revered grandfather, Harav Mordechai Leib Gladstein, Zechatzag Levracha. My grandfather was in all the dark places, and his entire life, wherever he was, he was ne never Mesiach Das from the Geula Shulema. His final words were, I am waiting for Mashiach. The Chida writes, in every generation, one is obligated to see themselves as if they left Mitzrayim. Prepare yourself, inflame your heart, as if you yourself left Mitzrayim. You were on the 50th level of Tumah. You were down and out, physically, emotionally, and most of all, spiritually. You were about to enter the point of no return and Hashem redeemed us by influencing our souls with tremendous Kedusha. You know, HaKadosh Baruch Hu redeemed us with the 50th level of Kedusha. An amazing Shefa of Kedusha came down. In fact, the Chida says, Vayishmael Kimes Na'akasam Nun with the Shar Nun and then Aleph Kuf Taf is equals 501. 501 is the gematria of Asher. Ekia Asher Ekia. It's a very powerful number. It facilitated our ability to leave the Mem Tashari Tuma. Hashem in Mitzrayim propelled us, catapulted us to unparalleled Kedusha, just like that. So by imagining yourself as if we were in Mitzrayim, Hashem elevated and catapulted us out of Kedusha. We are now priming ourselves and preparing ourselves for the Gula Ho'asida, which likewise will be with the Shar Nun. Mashiach stands for Mashiach Yigala Shar Nun. Mashiach will come when Hashem will likewise influence us with the Shefa of the Nun Shari Bina, which is also connected to the Shem Ekia. In fact, Bechol Dar Vadar Chayev Adam is Rashi Tevois. Bez Dalid Vav Ches Aleph, Gematria Ekia 21. By imagining that you yourself left Mitzrayim and Hashem yanked us out of the Tumah, we are thereby priming ourselves and preparing ourselves for the ultimate redemption. As we know our tradition is, we were redeemed the first time on the 15th of Nisan, and so we will begin, so we will again. By preparing ourselves and imagining that we left Mitzrayim, we are being mechen atzmenu legula. We're preparing ourselves for the final redemption. May it come tonight, the Leil Hagula. We should all be zoicha, then the zechus of the Amiras Hagada, and reliving the events of Tzias Mitzrayim. We should be zoicha to the beginning and the end of the Hagada. Hashata Hacha Lashana Haba Ba'arad Yisrael. And as the Haggadah ends, Lashana Haba Birushalayim. Imagining ourselves as if we left Mitzrayim prepares ourselves for redemption. May we be Zaycha to it, Bakarev Mamish.